Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday morning Time in the Word devotional. I'm Pastor Will, and it's great having you with us here today. I'd like to open up our time together this morning by reading to you from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. Hear the word of the Lord. Starting in verse 14, we read Jesus saying, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come before you here this morning in the light of your holy word. And pray, Lord, that you open up our eyes to the truth you had for us to learn. For we do pray this in your most holy name. Amen and amen. Do you remember being afraid of the dark when you were a child? If you think about it, it wasn't the darkness itself that you were afraid of, but rather the unknown monsters that lurked in that darkness, perhaps under your bed or in the corner of your room, or maybe even in your closet. Well, it's the same way today for many living in this world. People afraid of the unknown, people in need of the light, to chase the darkness away. In our, here in our morning's text, we find Jesus calling upon his followers to shine the light in this dark world. To be more exact, to reflect his light in this dark world in which we live. As, just as the moon reflects the light of the sun, and just as the newly fallen snow on a winter's night reflects the light of the moon. Jesus, who calls himself elsewhere the light of the world, calls upon us here today to reflect his light. That is to reflect his love, to reflect his forgiveness, to reflect his grace his patience, his mercy, and all that we say and do. And to do so wherever we might find ourselves. To reflect his light, we would do well to abide in him, to abide in his holy word, to abide in prayer, and to abide in the fellowship of the faithful. And in doing so, leading others to him. So that others may come to abide in his light as well. For as we read in verse 16 here of our morning's text, in the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Therefore, let us be quick, quick to shine the light of Jesus so that others, others might be liberated from their fears and come to know the warm and the liberating sweetness of his divine light so that they may come to shine his light as well. Well, that's about it from here this Wednesday morning. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. Hope to see you in church this coming Sunday. Till next time, when time and a word, blessings. I'll catch you later.